Hey guys, welcome back to Built by K. Right now, we're just going to do an oil change for the Skimco Quad. Works for the 270 models and the 300s because they have similar engine configuration. Oil stuff is all kind of in the same place. What you need to get, get about two, just get two quarts of oil. I'm sticking with 1040. This is what I use on my motorcycles. I've always had good luck with it. This is a little thicker than what some people might be thinking. Some people might want to use 1030. You use whatever you want. I just have better luck with this. But you only need about one and a half out of the two. So just be safe and get the extra. So first of all, like any other oil change, take the cap off. Very simple from there. And on the Kimco on the bottom, you can see, I don't even know if there's oil in it or if there's just that shitty oil. So just got this not that long ago. So under here, we have a bolt right there. Not this one that's right there, but this one right here is your one that'll drain the oil. So you're gonna need a 17 millimeter. Make sure it's going the right way. Yes, I know I'm shaking a lot and it's an unedited video, but we're just getting to the point of this. So what you need to do is... Oh, yeah, that was all good. So we're gonna pop that, the drain bolt off and see what kind of oil any oil comes out. And we got something. We got a lot of shit too. Okay. So I just got a lot of random shit coming out. This is literally the first time doing it on a Kimco. I've n this is so this is all new to me. Make sure to get rags as well, everyone. Hang on one second. Alright guys, um all the oil is pretty much draining out. It was actually full a little bit. No, it's not terrible, but I mean, hey, I always want to do my own oil change, even if I buy someone else's vehicle. So when you put your drain plug back in, here's the configuration it'll go in. So the f this is actually the oil filter. I thought the oil filter would be right there. I was wrong. So this is the actual like little oil filter here. There's really nothing in it, so I didn't clean it that much. Everything seemed fine. Um, so what you'll do is, Put this back up wherever the oil hole is for the pan. Just screw it back in initially so you can get it in there. And you can tighten it up. Just either follow the torque specs or don't tighten it up all the way where you're going to strip that bolt. Because that would be a pain in the ass to, to actually replace either the threads or do any of that weird stuff. Back in. I'm just doing a little tight, like hand, hand tight with like maybe not even a quarter inch of a turn. So I should work for now. You, I would suggest using specs, but hey, you use what's best for you. So obviously, for any oil change, put your funnel in. I don't really have something to hold my camera. Maybe the sides, like right here, I guess, but. You guys will get the point. Just maybe stick it in here. See what we can get. We're just gonna pour the oil in here, so. What do you call it? On the one thing, um, the one uh, glass area, you can see the fill line, see where it is. You can just use your flashlight if you're in the dark or in the daytime. Obviously, you can just look, so. We're just gonna start pouring the oil in. Right, that's one cord in, so it's about done right there. Alright, so I'll just bring the camera out real quick. Here's the fill line. It is just at the very be very below, so one quart is not sufficient. So we're going to maybe aim for one and a half quarts. Or just honestly, whatever your fill line goes to, that's the one you stick with. Right now we're like just below the minimum line, so we definitely need a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Especially with Chinese quads, or I think these are made in Taiwan or something. I just, it's a Honda, then it might last a little bit, but practice safe maintenance and 
good maintenance, I should say. So we're gonna pour that in. I'm gonna look at that fill line because it'll slowly fill up. Okay, I have about 1.2 quarts in there. I'm on a fairly flat surface and it's about in the middle right now. So here, I'll just point the camera out to you. This is right about the middle. Um, I'll actually run it for a little bit so you get the oil getting around. Maybe that'll drain a bit and we'll just fill it up and we'll, should be it for an oil change. This is actually really simple. So take your funnel out, boom. Just put your cap back on and then we'll start this bad boy up. So I always take, put my pet cock off. So now we'll start this seems to be going good. It's actually draining a little bit. Maybe it's just finally circulating around in there. But the engine started up. I had it run a little bit earlier before just to get it slightly warm. Nothing weird. The belt's making noises. So I have to buy a $200 Kimco quad. But um, yeah, it runs. I know it's the sound's not too promising, but with a little bit of oil work, sucking up there, um, we will fill it back up a little bit. I'll just fill it up real quick. Here, maybe we'll eyeball it here and see what happens. This is, I highly recommend not doing this because you might fail. I might fail, honestly. You people might have better hands than me, so we'll see what happens. All right, fill line is at the middle. We could probably go a little bit more, to be honest, since it is a quad and we will be taking it off-road and actually doing tests with it. Because in the future we'll do top run speeds and everything, so. But yeah, this is something if you don't want to, yep, that's, I think that's pretty good right there. It's getting towards the top. I'm gonna leave it there and run it a little bit more, but keep doing this process until you think it's sufficient. But yeah, we're gonna stay tuned a little bit later on for top speed runs for this. And I actually wanna try and do the coolant change. Even though there are videos of people doing out here, I just wanna get mine out in case you're just curious about seeing multiple videos of people changing the oil. This is one of them. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, like and subscribe.